good morning everyone. Uh, it's Amanda here getting ready for our 75 minute power flow today. Uh, so welcome if you're joining me this morning. Um, as you step onto your mat this morning, please feel free to grab any props that you might need. Um, blocks would probably be my only recommendation if you typically use those throughout your practice. Um, otherwise, whatever you like to use um, to kind of stretch yourself out. Um, if you need like a blanket for sitting on or a pillow for sitting on, feel free to grab those things. Um, and we will get started today laying down. Um, just a heads up that today's practice is um, core centric. Um, so we will be doing a lot of core work. Um, so please listen to your body. Um, feel free to modify, feel free to come out of a pose that we're in and take a break. Um, we will be doing a lot of movement, some dynamic movement. Um, so feel free to slow it down as well and not do as many reps, so to speak, as I'm telling you. Okay? And we'll get started laying down on the mat. Um, I would recommend Supta Baddha Konasana and then also Cactus Arms just to start opening up the front side of the body. So bringing the soles of the feet together, allowing the knees to fall wide. Maybe you grab some support for the outer edges of the thighs and then rolling all the way down onto your spine. When you get there, goal posting the arms, bringing the backs of the hands to the mat and maybe walking the shoulder blades underneath the body so you can lift the heart. Try to soften the fingers we're now coming into an active cactus arm here. Just trying to open up. And as you're settled, making any final adjustments that you need to to settle in. Go ahead and close down the eyes. Taking a moment here to find awareness of your body on the mat. Coming into your breath. Finding those nice deep inhales and exhales. Starting at the crown of the head, working your way down to the soles of the feet, scanning the body from head to toe, noticing if there are any points of tension or tightness. And if you arrive at a space that needs a little extra attention, begin to send the breath there. Continuing to inhale and exhale through the nose. Starting to build a little gentle heat from the inside. three more rounds of intentionally full breaths. After that last exhale, begin to soften the low belly, the back down into your mat, giving yourself a bear hug with the arms in one direction and then in the opposite direction. Begin to draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. Maybe a rock from side to side. And then keeping the knees hugged into the chest, bring those arms out to a T. We'll allow the knees to fall over to the left side of the mat.
Try to allow the legs to soften and create length through the right side of the body. So see if you can separate that right hip from the right shoulder just a little bit more. And then using a slight engagement in the core, drawing those knees back to center, recentering the hips if they shifted, and then allowing the knees to fall over to the right side of the mat. Same idea here, lower half of the body softens. So allow the legs to fall to something and try to press that left hip away. Just creating some separation between it and the left shoulder. And now bringing the legs back to center from here. Let's sweep those hands down by our sides. Maybe you even tuck the thumbs underneath the sits bones and we'll lift the legs skyward, coming into our legs up the wall. Begin to point and flex the feet. And as you're here, focus on pulling the belly button down towards the mat. So grounding the low back here as we begin with some core work. You're bringing the feet to stillness. And as you're ready, slowly begin to lower that right leg to hover. Both legs nice and active, press through the heels. Inhale, lift that right leg straight back up. Exhale, lower left leg to hover. Right leg stays lifting towards the sky as straight as you can. Inhale, straight back up. Switching back and forth from top side to side. The leg that's reaching up towards the sky, try to focus on keeping the ankle and the knee stacked over the hip, so a nice straight line of energy, or as straight as you can keep it. If you notice your hips are popping here, um, or moving in any way, try to plug the hip into its socket as you lower the leg down and lift it up. If you ever hear that popping, it's typically because you're not engaging the core enough and instead you're trying to use the hip flexors. So let's focus on engaging the core. Two more each side. Last one. Lifting both legs up towards the sky, drawing knees back into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, maybe a rock. And keep that right knee hugged in as you come back to center. Extend the left leg forward. Maybe you allow it to hover in space or maybe a left heel comes to the mat. Coming into your Ardha Apanasana, pull that right knee up towards the shoulder. And try to keep it in the same plane as the shoulder, not drawing it out towards this side of your mat. So that right hip's still plugged into its socket. You're almost pushing the hip away as you draw the knee in. Switch sides. Left knee draws in. And then right leg extends. Right foot can hover. Or maybe it comes down to the earth. And again, find that sense of distancing the left shoulder and the left hip as you draw the left knee in. Slowly drawing both knees back into the chest. Let's extend those legs back up towards the sky. And again, hands come down by your sides. Or maybe it's more comfortable for you to have the hands slightly underneath the hips. Again, engaging the low belly, drawing it down into the mat. This time, we're going to lower both legs at the same time. So hug the inner thighs together. Hug the heels together, big toes together. Inhale, straight back up. If you feel your low back start to pull away from the mat, that's your edge. Pause there and then lift back up. Lower. And lift. Engage the glutes here. Engage the core to lower. And lift. Remembering to keep those hips plugged in. So we're almost drawing the hips back instead of reaching them forward. Slowly with control. 
two more. On your last one, pausing at the bottom, trying to lengthen through the tailbone, point the toes forward, and then we'll crisscross the legs, right over left, left over right. Draw the belly in. For five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring the feet together, lift them skyward, and exhale, knees into the chest. Again, giving yourself a sway from side to side. And as you're ready, shifting that sway front to back, getting a nice roll along the length of the spine so that you can rise up through seated, and we'll make our way over to hands and knees in tabletop pose. Fingers spread nice and wide, shoulders over the wrists and hips over the knees. Finding your nice strong table here. As you inhale, let's drop the belly, lift the gaze. And exhale, round it out, press yourself away from the mat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze. And exhale, round it out. Back and forth a few more times with your own breath pace. Since we've already done a little bit of core work, that cow pose should feel extra nice. Should really feel that stretch on the front side of the hip flexors. Two more. back to a neutral spine from here. Let's flip the hands so that the fingers face back in towards the body. Heel of the hand resting on the mat and coming back to our cats and cows. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze forward, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, round into the upper back and shoulders, press yourself away still. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward. And exhale, round it out. One more. In and out. Coming back to neutral, let's flip those hands back around. Set the hips onto the heels and interlace the fingers apart. Begin making circles in one direction with the wrists. Just giving our wrists a little warm up this morning. And reverse. And then slowly making your way back to hands and knees. From here, let's tuck those toes under, stepping one foot back and then the other. Nice and strong through the hands, grounding through the base knuckles, through the thumb and the first finger, wrapping the triceps towards the back of your mat. Also, focus on engaging the low belly. This is a core-centric class, so always focus on that low belly. Inner thighs hugging together. Lift up on the kneecaps. Gazing down, maybe down and slightly forward to keep the spine nice and long. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bend the knees, press the hips back towards the heels. Keep the hips nice and high though. Gazing towards the top of your mat, nice and long through the spine. Knees hovering over the earth. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, draw right knee to right tricep as you shift forward. Exhale, step it back, bend the knees. Shift it forward, right knee, right tricep. And then step it back, bend the knees, allow them to hover. Step right knee to right tricep. And this time, we'll step that right foot outside the right hand. Lower down onto the left knee. You can keep the back toes tucked under or untucked to your choice. And then we'll open that right inner thigh towards the sky, coming into our lizard pose. Sink the hips down and forward as you spiral that right inner thigh towards the sky. Finding any movements that serve you here. Maybe a rock from side to side. Maybe shifting forward and back feels better for you.
Allow that right inner thigh to open up, sole of the right foot opens up, and then maybe you take that right hand to the right inner thigh, pressing it away, broadening through the collarbones, or option to reach that right arm skyward. Making sure you're opening through the right shoulder if you're twisting, possibly bringing that right hand to the heart to make sure that the collarbones are flush with the right side of your mat. Deep breath in. As you exhale, bring the hands back to the mat. Bring the sole of the right foot back. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. So finding some traction between the right knee and the right tricep, we're gonna press the two together, come up onto the toes of that right foot, and then slowly peel the right toes back, drawing them in towards the body, finding our half crow. Allow the right knee to rest on the right tricep, Low belly up and in, step it back, plank, shift it forward, lower down, and go through your flow. Meeting in downward facing dog. From our downward facing dog, don't worry, we'll stay here later and warm up. We're gonna rise up onto the toes, allow the knees to bend, coming wide on your mat. Coming back to that low hovering position at the back of your mat. This is our inhale. As you exhale, this time, pick the left leg up, left knee to left tricep. Round the shoulder blades towards the sky. Step it back, bend the knees, allow them to hover. Keep the spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Step it back, bend the knees, allow them to hover. And one more time, left knee, left tricep. Pause here, and then step the left foot outside the left hand, lower down onto that right knee, and open up into your lizard pose. Left inner thigh opens up, sole of the left foot opens, send the hips down and forward. Try to draw that left hip back in space slightly, so it's in line with the right. Find those movements that help you settle in. And if you'd like, plant that right hand. Take the left hand to the left inner thigh to help you press it away. Drawing the shoulders square with the left edge of the mat. Maybe you lift the left hand or draw the left hand to the heart so you know that you're opening up through the shoulder. Feeling some nice openness on the outer edge of that left hip. Inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down to the mat. Left foot comes down to the mat. Tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee up. And again, we're gonna find that traction between the left knee and the left tricep. Come up onto the toes of the left foot and then slide those left toes back in space. Hug the foot in towards you, half crow. Strong through both legs. Step it back, plank, shift it forward, lower down, and go through your flow. Meeting in downward facing dog. All right, this time, go ahead and walk it out. Bending one knee and then the other. Trying to find length through the back side of the body. whatever movements you need here. And as you feel nice and open, begin to settle in, pressing the hands down but forward. Let's wrap those triceps back and underneath the body. Lift the tailbone skyward as you extend the hamstrings towards the back of the room. Let's inhale, reach that right leg up and back. Bend the knees, stack the hips, open up. Keep sending left heel down towards the earth. Weights even through both hands. Open up through the right knee and hip. Begin making circles in one direction.
and then the other. Inhale, open up, Dancing Warrior. As you exhale, allow the right foot to come to the mat behind you, opening up into your wild thing, lifting the heart skyward. Again, maybe that right hand comes to the heart, driving the hips up. Reach that right arm up, and as you exhale, slowly lower the hips all the way down to the earth, reach towards the back of your mat. As you inhale, press into the heels, lift the hips up. But step that right foot over the left leg, giving yourself a little kickstand. Exhale, lower left hip down to the mat. Reach towards the back of your mat. Finding a little stretch here through the side body. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, step it open to your wild thing. Lift the hips, lift the heart. Slowly, lowering hips down to the mat. Reach towards the back. Inhale, lift. Step it over. Make that kickstand with the right foot and slowly lower left hip down. One more time, inhale, lift up. Step that right foot back, open up wild thing. This time, we're gonna step that right foot all the way forward with control. Lower down onto the left knee, rise up on Janasana. Nice low lunge here, back toes tucked or not, your choice. Try to draw that right hip back in space so it's even with the left. Right knee over the right ankle, Lift through the low back. Inhale. Exhale, hands down to frame that front leg. Extend the right leg and find your half splits. Right toes drawing up towards the face. Imagine drawing that right heel back in space to find some length through the back side of the hamstring. So just pulling back here might be enough for your hamstring right now. If you want more, begin to lean forward, lead with the heart. Try to create length through the spine instead of rounding nose towards the knee. So instead of rounding nose towards the knee, try to reach the crown of the head closer towards the foot. Draw the shoulders together on the back. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant that left hand underneath the shoulder. Sweep the right arm up, coming into a modified revolve triangle. Again, continuing to find that length through the side body. Stacking shoulders, spiraling left ribs towards right inner thigh. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly bring that right hand to the right hip. Keep drawing the right shoulder back. And we're going to sweep that right leg all the way to the back of the mat. Plant the outer edge of the foot down. And lift the hips up to lift that left knee up to hover. As you exhale, tap left knee to left elbow. Extend the left leg behind the right. Tap. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. Inhale, extend. Tap. Extend two more. Tap. Extend. Tap. This time, extend. Right hand comes down, centering yourself in plank. Shift it forward, lower down, and go through your flow. Meeting in downward facing dog. As you're ready, reaching that left leg up and back. Bend the knees, stack the hips, open up. Again, taking a moment here to even out the weight through both hands. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Lift the left knee a little higher. And begin making circles in one direction. And reverse. Inhale, open up. As you exhale, find your wild thing. Lift the hips skyward. That left arm can open up, or maybe you bring that left hand to the heart. Finding some extension through the front side of the body. Inhale, everyone reach that left arm up. As you exhale, allow both hips to settle down. Reach towards the back of your mat. Inhale, driving through the heels, lift the hips up. And then let's step that left foot over the right, creating a kickstand. Slowly lower right hip down to the mat. Reach the left hand back. Inhale, lifting back up. Step that left leg back. Open up into your wild thing. 
Slowly lower hips down. Inhale, root to rise. Step that left foot over, make a kickstand with the leg, and then lower right hip down, reach towards the back of your mat. Inhale, lifting up. And then one more time, step it back, open up to wild thing. Lift the hips. And this time with control, we'll step that left foot all the way to the top of the mat. Lower down on that back knee, rise up. Nice deep low lunge here. Tuck that left hip back and in. Try to find a lift through the base of the ribcage, lifting it forward, intensifying the stretch on the right hip flexor. Inhale, exhale, hands down, extending left leg, find your half splits. So again, maybe you pause here, just focusing on drawing the left heel back and toes towards the sky. If you'd like to deepen, keeping the long spine, begin to fold. Going to wherever you best feel the stretch. Keep drawing that heel back. Inhale, halfway lift. This time right hand plants, left arm sweeps up towards the sky. Coming into your modified or revolved triangle, continue to draw that left hip back. So we haven't lost that engagement here. Working to keep the hips squared, spiraling right ribs towards left inner thigh. Finding a lift through the left hand. Exhale, left hand to left hip. We're going to open up towards the left edge of the mat. Sweep that left leg to the back. Plant the outer edge of the foot down to the back of the mat. Lift the hips up and then lift that right knee up. Exhale, tap right knee to elbow. Inhale, extend that right leg back. Exhale, tap. Extend, tap, extend, two more, tap, lengthen, tap, lengthen, plant the right toes down, center yourself in plank, and go through the flow. Meeting in downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, lift the gaze forward. As you exhale, make your way to the top of your mat, coming into your forward fold. Inhale and halfway lift here. Find length through the spine. And again, focusing today on drawing the low belly in. Exhale, hold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, let it go. Rising up to standing on the inhale. And exhale, thumbs to heart center, stomachs to tihi. Let's find some engagement here in our mountain pose. Rooting through all four corners of the feet, draw up on the kneecaps. Tucking the tailbone under, lift the base of the ribcage forward, hands to heart center. Chin slightly tucked. Inhale, circle sweep. Exhale, swan back forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. And exhale, plant the hands, stepping back, high plank. Going through one of our first flows, shifting forward, lower down. Flip the feet, take your back bend. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Gazing forward, this time walk, step, hop, your choice. To the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, hold. Earth to sky all the way up, inhale. Exhale, right back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands plant, stepping, hopping back, and find your flow. Meeting back in downward facing dog. One more. Gaze forward, walk, step, hop. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, hold. Earth to sky, rise up, reach up. Exhale, right back down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, hands plant, stepping, hopping back, and go through your flow.
leaning in downward facing dog. This time gazing forward, feet come to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, allow the fingertips to hover. As you do, draw the shoulders together on the back, and then inhale, arms up overhead. Biceps by the ears, sink the hips back and down. Inhale. Exhale, hands past through heart center, twist to the right. Hook that left elbow outside of the right knee. Try to broaden through the collarbones and even out the knees. So that right hip's most likely drawing back. Try to drop forward slightly, twisting deeper through the core and through the hips. Inhale. Slowly come up onto the toes of that left foot and then step it all the way back. Back foot comes down at an angle. We'll rise up into our warrior one. So adjust your stance if you need to. Adjust that back foot. Left hip draws forward, right hip draws back. Lengthen the upper body. Lift the back of the heart forward as you extend through the pinky toe edge of that back foot. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Stepping back to plank, go through your flow. Meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up. Exhale, step it forward. Rising back up to that warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Stepping forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, find that chair pose. So same engagement as before, nice and long through the upper body, but keeping the slight natural curve of the spine. Inhale, exhale, hands to heart center, twist to the left. Hook that right elbow outside the left thigh. Working to bring the thumb tips to heart center. And this time, the left hip's the one probably drawing back, so draw it forward. Inhale. And exhale, rising up onto the toes of the right foot, slowly step the right leg back, toes out, heel in, rise up, warrior one. And again, adjusting the hips, left hip point drawing back, so that both hip points are square with the top of the mat. Lift the back of the heart forward, so that you can extend more through that back leg. Lift up on the front toes. Inhale. Exhale, hands down, stepping back, plank, shifting forward, lower through chaturanga, and go through your flow. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step it all the way through, rising up, warrior one again. Find that inhale, find that draw back of the left hip. Exhale, hands down, stepping forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Earth the sky. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Maybe taking a back bend at the top. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands down, feet go back, and go through your flow. As you inhale, right leg reaches up and back. Pause here, send that left heel down towards the earth. Inhale, exhale, sip it all the way through. Rising back up, warrior one. This time we'll hold here. Reach the arms up overhead, keep drawing that right hip back. Interlace the fingers and flip the palms skyward. Draw the shoulders down the back, and we'll begin to pulse the hands towards the back of the mat. So draw the arms towards the back, with control, trying not to bounce too much or use momentum. Try to use your muscular engagement here. Still nice and strong through the legs. For three, two, one, bring the arms back by the ears, release the fingers. Inhale, exhale, lean it forward, airplane the arms. Send the energy through the fingertips towards the back of your mat. Thigh hovering, 
ribs hovering over that front thigh, keeping a nice long length through the upper body, and let's lift those toes up and back, coming into Airplane Warrior Three. Left toes reaching long behind, keeping that length that we created through the upper body, and then from here, slowly begin to bend into that base leg as much as you can, keeping the upper body nice and long. So that might be parallel with the mat, it might be a diagonal, doesn't matter. Bend, extend. So moving just the base leg, bend, extend, bend, extend, keep the heart open, two more. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Pausing here in your airplane. Slowly lower left toes long behind. Open out warrior two. Back foot spins down all the way. Draw that right thigh bone back in space. Make sure that back foot's parallel with the back edge of your mat. Tuck the hips under. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse. Right ribs spread towards the sky. Try to wrap that right tricep down towards the mat. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, frame that front foot. So from here, we're gonna find that half crow again. So draw the right toes back in towards the body. And then some mountain climbers here. So as you kind of pop that right leg back, draw the left knee in. Right, left, right, left, back, forth. A few more times. Try to keep the hips and shoulders in the same plane. And we'll end with the right knee in. Plant that right hand underneath the face. Open up into your revolved side plank. So opening up towards the left side of your mat. Maybe you extend that right leg out. And then drop back in. Exhale, left hand down. Step it back plank. Forward and down. Meeting back. And downward facing dog. Down. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, left leg up and back. Pause here. Send that right heel down towards the mat. Lengthen those left toes skyward. Exhale, stepping all the way through. Rising up, warrior one. So again, taking a moment, find your stance here. Left hip back, right hip forward. Arms by the ears. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms. And again, keep pressing through the back leg and we'll pulse with control. Arms go towards the back of your mat. Keep the deep bend in the front knee. For three, two, one, release the fingers, reach it up. Inhale. As you exhale, airplane arms, lengthen the crown of the head forward. Nice long diagonal line of energy from the crown of the head through that back foot. And then slowly keep leaning forward, lift the right toes up and back, draw that right hip down. If this is too much for the arms, you can bring the hands to heart center, give the shoulders a little bit of a break. Keep that length through the upper body. Exhale, bend the base leg. Extend. Slowly with control, bend. Extend if you need to tap the right toes down, go for it. Two more. Last one, lift up. And then slowly release the right toes along behind. Cartwheel open, warrior two. Adjust your stance. Heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. Make sure that those collarbones are opening towards the right side of your mat. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse. 
Lean the left ribs forward as you draw the left hip back in space. Find length through the left side of the body. Inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Framing that front foot. And again, we're going to find our half crow. So working to draw left toes in towards the body. And then coming into our mountain climbers. Right leg forward, left, right, back, forth. Engage the belly. A few more. And we'll end with the left knee in. Left hand centers under the face. Open up towards the right edge of your mat. Or a side plank. Maybe you extend the left leg. Drop back. Exhale. Find your plank. Shift forward. Lower down. And go through your flow. Lean back and downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and take a few breaths here if you'd like to. Feel free to drop down to child's pose. Wherever you're at for your rest, try to allow the body to come back to its natural breath. Two more. And if you're in child's pose, Go ahead and begin that transition back to down dog. Everyone meeting back in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the gaze forward. As you exhale, walk, step, hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Earth the sky all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, hands through heart center. Bend the knees, take the hips. Try to find that length through the upper body. And we'll hook left elbow outside right thigh. Twist open. Try to draw the thumbs to the heart. If that right knee is drawing back, bring it back in line with the left. From here, coming back up onto the left toes. Slowly with control, set the left foot back. Toes plant to the mat. Coming into our prayer twist. Lengthen the back knee skyward. And then we're going to hit the rewind button. So, get light in the left toes. Draw knee into chest. Step it forward. Revolve chair. We'll do a few more. Take your time. Get up on the left toes. Step the left foot back. Find that twist. And then step it forward. Revolve chair. One more. Slowly. Up onto the toes, step it back, finding your twist here, drawing right hip back, engaging that back leg. As you inhale, rise all the way up to standing, keep the twist. So you can stay here, focusing on drawing right hip back, left hip forward, or you can extend the arms, bringing them out to a T towards the right side of your mat. Sink in. See if you can stack shoulders over the hips. And then slowly reach right hand down the back leg. Left arm reaches up. Revolved reverse crescent. Left ribs, ribs spread towards the front of your mat. Exhale, hands come down to the top of the mat. One more time. We're going to place that right knee on the right tricep. Draw the toes back in towards the body. Find half crow. Roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Open up into your wild leg. Lift the hips high. Begin to roll through center. Stepping that right foot all the way to the top of the mat. Reach the right arm forward. Creating some length through the right side of the body. Exhale, right hand down. Open up through the left side. Finding your half moon pose. Reaching left fingertips skyward, pressing through the ball in the heel of the back foot. Find the breath here, 
maybe you bend into that back leg, reaching for the foot or the ankle, finding your chapasana pose. Just an option. If you found it, press the foot into the hand. Slowly release, coming back to half moon. Exhale, left hand down to the mat, square the hips. Reach the arms back or forward, finding your warrior three. Lift the heart. Slowly, lowering left toes along behind, open back out warrior two. Bending into the right knee, left foot becomes parallel with the back edge of your back. Draw the shoulders together on the back. Inhale. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Begin to extend the front leg. As you bend the left knee, sink the hips. Find that surfer's lunge. Sinking the hips as low as you can. Working to open up through the right inner thigh. Heart stays lifted. Spine nice and long. If you're nice and low and leg a little bit more, nuzzle that left tricep to the inner thigh and slightly twist towards the top of your mat. Continue to sink the hips back and down. One more breath here, in and out. As you inhale, transition back to the top of your mat. Right toes plant forward, opening up into your side angle. Start with reaching that left arm towards the sky. Focus on tucking the hips here. Try to find that length through the sides of the body. Now, if you're ready, Reaching that left arm up by the ear. Spiral the tricep down, palm facing the earth. If you'd like even more, right arm reaches forward. Slowly begin to spiral the shoulders towards the mat, roll up on the back toes. Nice diagonal crescent, inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step it back and go through your flow. Leading in downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. Lifting the gaze forward. Exhale, step block hop. Top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, hold. Earth to sky all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, hands pass through heart center. And again, bend the knees, sink the hips. And this time we'll twist to the left, right elbow, outside left thigh. Sending hips back and down. And again, draw that left knee back in line with the right. Settling into your seat, come up onto the toes of that right foot. And then begin to step it back. Find the balance, find the control. Retwist if you came undone. Lengthen through the back leg. Slowly begin to step forward, coming back to your revolve chair. Adjust the feet if you need to, adjust the twist. Two more. Up on the toes, step it back with control as lightly as possible, and then step it forward. One more. Last one. Up onto the toes. Let's step it back. We'll pause here. So deep in the twist if you can. Both legs nice and strong. Hug the inner thighs together. Inhale, rise up facing the left edge of your mat. Work to draw left hip back. Right hip forward, hands to heart. If you'd like to, extend that right arm forward, left arm back. Try to stay nice and tall here. One more breath in. As you exhale, left hand 
settles down the back leg. Right arm reaches up. Live through that back leg. Live through the base of the rib cage. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come down to the top of the mat. Half crow. Left knee to left tricep. Left toes back in towards the body. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot. Open up. Wild thing. Lifting hips skyward. Spiral shoulders skyward. One more inhale. Exhale. Set that left foot all the way to the top of the mat. Reach the left arm forward. Find length here. Nice diagonal. Exhale. Left hand down. Opening up through the right side of the body as you find your half moon pose. Take your time. Be gentle with yourself. If you fall out, get right back in. Press through that back foot here. It is your anchor in your balance. If you'd like to, bending into the right knee, reaching back for the foot or ankle, finding Japasana, again, only optional. One side might enjoy this, the other one might not. Be okay with that. Slowly release. Exhale, right hand down. Square the hips. As you're ready, reach the arms forward. Finding warrior three. Keep pressing through that back foot. And then slowly lower right toes down. Open up, warrior two. Settle into the front knee. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Extend the front leg. And bend the right knee. Sink the hips. Find that side lunge. Sink the hips as low as you can while lifting the crown. Hands to heart center. Again, you can stay here. Hands can come to the mat. Or you can take that right tricep, press it into the right inner thigh and spiral towards the front of your mat. Wherever you're at, try to soften the gaze. One more inhale and exhale. Next inhale, rooting that left foot towards the top of the mat, draw yourself forward, opening out into your side angle pose. Reaching that right arm up for now as you find that tuck of the hips and find a length through the side of the body. As you're ready to go a little further, that right arm comes up by the ear. Keep drawing the right shoulder back. And if you'd like to add on one more, the left arm reaches forward. Draw that left hip back in space. Inhale. Exhale. Turn yourself to face the mat. Nice diagonal line of energy here from fingertips through back heel. Inhale. Rise up. Nice low crescent lunge. Lift the back knee. And exhale. Hands down to the mat. Step it back to plank and go through your flow. Meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up and back. Bend the knees, stack the hips, open up. So one more wild thing. Right foot comes to the mat, opening up, lift the hips. If you'd like to, you can bring both hands to the mat, coming into your full wheel pose. And if you came in, slowly come out the same way. We'll extend that left leg long, and then hop the right foot over the left leg, making a kickstand. Lower that left hip down to the earth. So from here, I'm gonna do a little funky arm balance called baby grasshopper. You have a couple of options. So let's start with both hands in front of the body, shoulder distance apart. 
That right foot is still our kickstand. Outer edge of the left foot plugged into the back of the mat. From here, option one is to just lean forward, chaturanga with the arms, and lift that left hip up. So that might be it, right? You might stay there and hang out. Option two, same idea, chaturanga with the arms, lift the hip, and then maybe lift the outer edge of the left foot. And maybe you're okay there. Last option, last stop. Reaching that right arm in front of the right leg for the sole of the left foot. Keeping the left arm by your side in chaturanga. So leaning forward, bend the arm. Then, same idea, lift the hips and lift the outer edge of that foot. And then slowly lower. So hopefully you found something to play with along the way there. We'll bring the hands back to the top of the mat. Step that right leg up and back, three-legged up. From here, let's draw our right knee to right tricep one last time, half crow. Maybe you just stay here, or maybe you roll over to the top of that left foot, engage the low belly, and draw that left knee to the left tricep, finding your crow pose. Hug the inner thighs together, and then everyone slowly release the feet down, and we'll find our yogi squat. So settle in, maybe inviting a block to the party from underneath the hips. Just like in our Skandasana, hips down, crown of the head up, open the heart. So this is kind of our play time for today. Um, feel free to try all of these poses, try none of them. Just listen to your body wherever you're at. Maybe you save them for a later time. One more deep inhale. And exhale. In. Exhale, hands down. Step it, hop back. And go through your flow. And we'll find the other side. Inhale, left leg up and back. Bend the knees, stack the hips, open up. Allow that left foot to come to the mat as you find your wild thing. Opening up, staying here, finding the deepest wild thing of the practice, or bringing that left hand to the mat, flipping the right hand around, and coming into your full wheel. Trying to press the heart through between the hands, and then slowly flipping that right hand back around, left hand back to the mat, and then from here, we're going to hop that left foot over the right, sink the hips down, so that we can set up for our grasshopper on this side. I'm going to turn to face you again, so that you can remember the different steps along the way. So step one, both hands on the mat, left foot on the mat, outer edge of the right foot on the mat. Bend the arms, lift just the hip. Stop two, lift the outer edge of the foot as well. Stop three, reaching that left arm, in front of the left leg for the sole of the right foot. Right hand underneath the shoulder, bend the arm, lift the hip, and lift the outer edge of the foot. And then slowly lower. So making my way back in the same direction as you, let's bring that left hand down, meeting back in three-legged dog. Left leg lifts scattered. As you exhale, left knee, left tricep, stay here. Or maybe you roll up onto the toes of the back foot and slowly draw right knee to right tricep, finding your crow pose. Everyone, meet with both feet at the top of the mat. And one more time, we'll find our yogi squat. Take a moment here, close down the eyes. See if you can draw the thumbs to the heart. In a moment of gratitude, thanking yourself for creating a little bit of sweat today. And maybe trying out some new stuff.
One more inhale. And exhale. Slowly fluttering the eyes open. Hands come down as the feet go back. Going through one last flow. And meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, find pigeon pose. Right knee traces the right wrist. Walk that left leg back, squaring up through the hips. Let's begin by lifting the heart forward. Take a moment to check out the back leg. Grab any props that you need to. And as you're ready, lower and long to the earth. Taking what you need here, try to allow the lower body to settle in. Slowly pull the head up, begin to walk the hands back and towards you. And then walk the hands over towards the left side of your mat. So maybe you stay here, just pressing the hands down and forward, trying to reach the hips back. Or maybe you hook that right elbow outside the sole of the right foot and bring the hands to heart center. Twisting yourself open towards the left side of the mat. And slowly, wherever you're at, unwind or twist. Bring the hands back to center. And we'll roll onto the right hip. Sweep the left leg forward. Coming into our seated figure four. So, in your seated figure four, sole of the right foot is to the left inner thigh. We're going to pivot the upper body to face the right knee. So shoulders facing towards the right edge of your mat. Inhale that right arm up. And then we're going to be in the inch, the left fingertips towards the left foot, coming into a nice deep side body stretch. So wherever that edge is for you, just try to make sure that that right shoulder is not caving in. We're still opening up towards the right side of the mat. Focus more on the stack of the shoulders than on getting that left foot to the left hand. Or vice versa. Try to ground down through that right hip. And then slowly rising all the way back up. We'll bend that left knee, bringing the shin parallel to the top of the mat, roll to the left hip, and sweep the right leg back as we set up for pigeon on the opposite side. So taking a moment to set up that back leg, hip, knee, top of the foot all pointing down, lengthening through the back side of the body, square the hips, and as you're ready, begin to lower all the way down. With each breath, allow your body to melt into the mat a little bit more. And begin to pull your 
yourself up away from the mat. Walk the hands in towards the body. And then walk them over towards the right edge of your mat. Again, using the hands to press you back and down towards the back edge of the mat. Or maybe you hook that left elbow to the sole of the left foot and then bring the hands heart center. Stacking the shoulders towards the right edge of your mat. One more breath. And then slowly unwind, walking the hands back to center, and we'll roll back onto that left hip to sweep the right leg forward. Coming to your seated figure four, pivot the upper body so you're facing the left knee. Shoulders square with the left edge of your mat. Inhale, left arm up, and then slowly begin to lean towards that right leg. Keep that left hip grounded, and reach the right hand to the sole of the right foot, or in that general direction. Keep drawing the left shoulder back. The more you ground through the left hip, the more you reach through the left fingertips, the deeper you'll feel the stretch here. slowly let's begin to rise all the way back up coming to face the top of the mat bringing the feet down knees up and slowly begin to roll all the way down onto the mat soles of the feet stay planted toes point forward knees in line with the hips hands come down by your sides as you inhale lift the hips up coming to a low bridge so just trying to create length from shoulders through the knees. And then we'll inch those shoulders underneath the body, interlacing the fingers behind the low back. So not creating fists, but almost creating a basket with the fingers. Thumbs are free. And slowly, let's lower the hips down onto the hands. So just creating a nice little basket here. As you're ready, begin to draw the knees in and extend the legs up towards the sky. So if this is at all uncomfortable for your arms, go ahead and just take a regular legs up the wall or take a block for underneath the hips. I happen to like the gentle pressure on the arms here. Keep reaching those heels towards the sky, toes towards the face. And then re-bending the knees, soles of the feet come back down, reverse, pressing up through, through bridge, release the hands, and then rolling down one vertebrae at a time until the hips tap on the earth. Extend the left leg forward and draw the right knee into the chest. Just as before, Work to keep the right knee in line with the right shoulder while sending the right hip forward. And then slowly cross that right leg all the way over to the left side of the mat, coming into your universal spinal twist. Focus on keeping that right shoulder grounded and then supporting the right leg if you need a block, a blanket, a bolster in order for it to reach the mat. Try to soften into that left leg as well. And just allow gravity to take over.
slowly bringing the gaze back, bringing the leg back to center, taking a moment to square the hips off, and then sending that right leg forward, and draw the left knee into the chest. Left knee towards the shoulder, left hip tucks in, draw it forward. So when I say draw it forward, you might notice here as you draw the left knee in that your left hip wants to curl up towards the shoulder. So trying to counteract that curl by tucking the tailbone and drawing the hip in. As you're ready, crossing the left leg over to the right side of the mat. Arms come out to a T. Planting the left shoulder down, plug it into the mat. And then grab anything you need to help settle the left leg. Right leg relaxes. Don't worry about keeping it perfectly straight. Allow it to soften. And beginning to make our way back to center. Unwind and twist, bringing both feet down, knees up. Let's give ourselves a little more squeeze, hugging knees into the chest. Maybe a gentle rock from side to side. And then reaching through for the outer edges of the feet or the ankles, finding your happy baby. One last reminder to extend the spine. Reach the tailbone towards the top of the mat. Draw the shoulders down the back. And maybe rock from side to side. Take one more deep breath in. And as you sigh it out, releasing down. Extending legs long, allowing the inner thighs and soles of the feet to open towards the sky. Heart opens, palms flip up. Offering yourself one last deep breath in. Let's sigh it out as we find Shavasana.
choosing to press pause and extend your rest. And beginning to find small movements in the body. Wiggling fingers and toes. Rolling out those wrists and ankles. Maybe extending the arms up overhead to gain a nice long body stretch. And then drawing the knees into the chest and rolling over your favorite thing. And with one last push of effort, making your way up to seated on the mat. Sitting up nice and tall, and the hands will come down by your sides. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, press the breath out and away. Inhale, rising up, reaching up. Exhale, let it go. One more deep breath in from Earth to Sky, breathing in the energy and vitality we've created. And turn it home to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Taking this energy out into the world and sharing it with everyone you meet. Honoring the light inside and teach your inner self. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Well, thank you all for joining me this morning. I hope you feel nice and warmed up and ready for the rest of today. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for coming out this morning.